folks, do some skull busters, and may I introduce you to the Porsche 962C. This car's up there with the Nissan R92CP and the Sauber C8. It can manage 129 lap times and will pull around Sardinia in 23 minutes and 27 seconds at least. In hands that are better than a BS driver, you're talking low 23 minutes. So, let's show you what this car's all about. Right. We're on the second stint, we're on fuel map 3, we're going hell for leather. We're going to hit 200 mile an hour as we come over the crest and we're going to go over to the left and then drift over to the right onto the rubber as we hit the corner. Coming down to 60 mile an hour, let it roll around the corner, stay in the middle of the track as you come out, that will give you a good entry into the chicanes, just feathering the throttle as you go through them. Braking at the gravel trap and then letting the car roll round the chicanes here taking it nice and wide and then getting on the accelerator as soon as you can using up as much of the track as you can brake at the 50 mark again let the car roll round the hairpin and then floor it as soon as you can you won't get much oversteer with this car so as soon as you put your foot down all it's going to do is just drift down wide a bit you're going to be braking between the 150 and 100 mark. Brake, 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 brake. Let the car flow around the corner. I went a bit wide there, so some time to be made up. But floor it as soon as you can. Get get the car going again. Next up is the chicane. You're going to want to keep right. Keep the car on the rubber. Brake down into second. About 115 mile an hour. And then accelerate as soon as you come out past the barrier. Brake between 150 mark. And again, let the car roll around the corner and then floor it as soon as you got a good e exit out of it. Little tap off the uh, accelerator as you come out of the last corner. And then that takes you over the line. And that did me a 129.7. This is probably one of the easiest Group C cars to drive. It's got absolutely no oversteer in it. And as soon as you put your foot down, there's tons of grip. It's not as agile as, of the, as the other cars, but for me, it's just as usable and probably more user friendly than the others. So, let me show you how we tuned it. Right, so 800pp, here we come. We're on racing medium tyres, front and rear. On the suspension, the ride height is 60 to 110. The anti roll bar is 8 and 10. The Damping ratio for compression is 20 at the front and 20 at the rear, and the expansion is 45 on both as well. Natural frequency is 3.5 at the front and 5 at the rear. Negative camber is 2.5 at the rear and 3 at the front. Toe angle is 0.1 on the front and 0 at the back, and then your differential, as always, is 5. Downforce, max in the PP, is 504 and 1600 at the back, 100 on the ECU and 81 on the power restrictor. No ballast and the gearbox, you want to say it to 350. Bring the final to 3.412 and then just follow the numbers. So 1.86, 1.48, 1.205, 1.020, 1.0, .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 and 0.9. Play with them if you want, shorten them, lengthen them. I saw one guy in a previous video, he lengthened out fifth gear just so he wasn't hitting high revs to get better fuel economy. It's up to you. And then, last two bits, you want a medium RPM turbo and you want the front rear brake balance set to four. And that's it folks, that will get you this magical 800pp. And there you have it folks. Fun fact for you. Uh, I used to have this car as a toy when I was a kid, a little black one, and that's why I've got this livery on, uh, the Blowpunt livery, which is known as the Blowpunt car for me. Next up I think I'm going to be concentrating on Tokyo and Le Mans, uh, I've run out of Group C cars to tune for now, so I'll be looking at Le Mans and Tokyo.
just wait for the CLK GTR to come out. I'll be having a look at that and uh, I want to see if we can get, try and get the McLaren F1 long tail tuned down for this, see how good that is. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. For those of you who always say the Escudo, I cannot tune the Escudo for this race. I, I don't know what it is. Um, it just oversteers like mad when under braking. It Stays like mad, overstays like mad, and then when I'm going high speed through corners, no matter what I do. So I'll leave that to you guys to figure out. Right, folks, leaving it there, and we will see you all next time. Adios.